guys so today we are going to talk about how to add a new locomotive to our ecos 2 now there is two processes the first one unfortunately i'm not going to be able to show you guys but it is super super simple okay so the first process is if you have a esu lock sound decoder locomotive that has rail com in it all you just have to do is turn the system on put the train on the rails or on the track and the ECOS 2, as long as the Railcom is selected and activated on the ECOS 2, the ECOS will automatically pick up the new locomotive. And then all you have to do is just go to the spanner and add the new locomotive to your roster. That is the most easiest way to add a locomotive. And that is just absolutely brilliant. And I love it. Okay, the second way uh, needs a little bit more work. All right, so we need to add a new locomotive. So let's go ahead and see the couple of options of doing it, uh, doing this. We can program a new locomotive on the main track, which is P-O-M, program on the main. Now, if we do that, what we have to do is we have to take off all of the other locomotives off of our layout and then continue with programming the brand new locomotive. If we don't do that, Whatever we program onto the new locomotive, any locomotive that is on your layout that's on the main will be programmed to what's going on with the new locomotive. That's the last thing you want to do, especially if you have like say 20 locomotives, then you have to start uh, like do the procedure all over again. So make sure all of the other locomotives are taken off the track. The other option is programming on a program track. So that's what we're going to do today. That's what you can see over here as I have a short piece of pro uh, Bachman track. This is hooked up to the programming track. And this is how we're going to upload the RDC-2 to the ECOS-2. All right. So first thing we want to do is turn on power. Next, we're going to go over to the spanner here and then go to new loco create manually you can create from database if you already have it in there or you can go ahead and create manually we are going to create manually okay so the next thing i do before changing anything over here i go to advance over here what i do is i get the ecos to go ahead and read the decoder uh, there's a couple of benefits uh, of doing this when you come over here to your drive settings you can't really do much over here, especially with your function mapping. And if you have sound with your sound mapping, sound settings either, like you don't have any access. By going ahead and having your ECOS read the decoder, you'll end up having access to all that. So let's go ahead and read the train. All right, so now that the decoder has been read by the ECOS, now if we go back over here to the drive settings, you look, all of a sudden we have all these settings that we can play around with. Same thing with sound. Well, this train doesn't have sound, but if you had sound, it'd be the same thing. And then here's your mapping or function mapping over here that we can play around with. All right, guys, so we go back into the information. We don't need that. Let's go back to the edit local section. Over here, we can go ahead and change our address i'm going to use the road number which is 250 say yes uh sniffer address we're going to leave name we are going to change we are going to add cn rdc dash two and i add the road number so 250 once that is done, we go down here at the bottom and we hit the right to track button. Next thing to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my picture in here, use it to find images. If you guys want to know how to create your own images for your ECOS 2, go ahead and click on this card right up over here and I will show you how. So let's go ahead, click on use it to find images and let's look for the RDC. Voila, there it is. Add it. We say thank you very much by hitting the check mark. And voila, 
As you can see, we have CNRDC-2 road number 250. This is the, our local image. Down over here is uh, DCC steps 128. And over here is local address 250. And guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope, hopefully it helps you out. And as usual, keep on modeling. Until next time.